Rylan, our attention. Rylan, you may begin. Every single one of y'all are going to learn how to do operator for the property today. Here's a picture of the forklift. I'm going to be teaching y'all how to operate properly. And I'm going to be teaching you three key essential takeaways from this. I'm going to be teaching you how to drive it. I'm going to teach you how to operate it. And most importantly, park it safely. So for starting off on the driving aspect, I went ahead and highlighted some of these key areas that are essential to the forklift. Blue is going to be the ignition switch, just like you would as a car. Green is going to be the shifter, just as you would for drive and reverse and park. And red is obviously going to be your brake. It works just like a car. It's really no different. As you can see, here is the parking brake switch right there. Like I said, same thing as a car. There's no really difference. So after you know how to drive it, I'm going to teach you how to actually properly use the functions to the fork. Mm -hmm. So the far left right here, it has a symbol. It is going to be fork raise and fork down. So when you push the lever down, it's actually going to raise the forks. And then when you push it up, it's actually going to drop them. In the middle, we have fork tilt. This is used for getting under pallets in tight spaces of items that you want to pick up that quite can't quite make it. So that when you pivot the forks, they're actually going to be angled down, and then when you pull up on the handle, it's actually going to tilt them up. So if you have an item that's kind of at an incline or a hill, the forks allow you to be able to do that. The second is going to be carriage shift. This is used for a very situational based, like more experienced forklift user. Um, this is allows like, if you're in a tight kind of spot with the machine, you're able to go around able to shift the gear side to side. And I have photos of all of this that I'm going to show y'all so you can actually kind of get a better understanding other than just me talking and telling you about it. So that's the three operational functions that the forklift has. So here is the photo of the fork race, what it looks like when you're able to raise it up. The entire carriage goes up and it can go up to I think like 25 feet up in the air. So you can get up at the high places, you just have to be safe about it. Here's what the uh, tilt looks like, more at a straight angle. Like I said, these are able to pivot up and down. It all depends on what you need to do, and it's all fit for the job. And here's the carriage shift. Now, like I was saying, this allows it to shift entirely with the forks and all. So if you're trying to get in and out of a tight space, it really does help you, especially when like we're thirsty and we need water <laughs> to that angle. So I got to get the water. Of course, I'm the youngest. Hmm. Now, finally, parking. So after you've operated and you've learned how to drive it, you obviously need to park the unit. Now, there's actually a very specific way on you actually need to park this to be safe. And according to an article related to forklift injuries and from the website uh, injuryfacts.com, in 2022, 73 deaths in the workforce were related to forklift injuries and over 40,000 injuries were also reported just off forklifts alone. So this is how you're supposed to park the forklift. So what you're going to do is you're going to start off by, you know, after you've done and driven, you're going to go ahead and unbuckle your seatbelt. You're going to have your foot pressed on the brake. You're going to deploy the parking brake. You're going to make sure it's in neutral, just like you would your car or park. And then after that, you make sure you turn the ignition off and you use three points of contact to get out. So that's going to be your right hand on the little board, and then you're going to use your left hand on the grip, and then you're going to have your left foot right there, and you're going to step down. Now the most important part is having your forks down, because that's how most people get hurt, is because people leave the forks up, and you just straight like fall. So it's not good to do that by any means. And also on a quick note, according to an article called Forklift History, published in 2020 by Edward Chiang, the sales director for a union forklift at a company, states that Eugene Clark first embedded the forklift in 1917. So that's quite a while away as to where we've come. This is actually an electric forklift, and in the history, in the article, it was a diesel motor and it looked like a lawnmower. <laughs> so you can see where the evolution has begun. 
So some key takeaways. I've taught you how to drive, I've taught you how to function it, and I've taught you how to park it. So you're all kind of, in a sense, certified operators. <laughs> but not really. Don't just go to HEV or like Home Depot and like start operating. <laughs> please don't. As again, discretion, please do not operate a fourth like frequency and be safe. Do not hurt yourself and do not add on to those numbers. Thank you.